Shortcuts is one of the most underrated tool in the iPhone and not many people use it on a day-to-day -day basis. And today I'll be showing you how you can use some of the readily available ones. So we'll just head back to the home screen and in the utility folder, this is the shortcut app. You just have to tap on it. And this is the home page of the shortcut app. So at the top, you have some of the shortcuts and at bottom, it is those uh, app shortcuts that you can use right away. At the bottom, we have a few tabs. So we just go over to automation. So in automation, you can configure such that when a specific condition is being met, an action is being taken. For instance, the web app is being opened. I'll show you more later on. So let's go over to gallery. Over here, you have readily made shortcuts that you can use right away. So at the top, you have fun and games with Siri, starter shortcuts, and also grid with Siri. So there are a lot of options available here for you to choose from. And even if you don't want to create your own shortcuts, you can just head over here and choose one to your liking. So just go over to all the shortcuts that I've already configured. So there are quite a number of different colors, as you can see. So I'll show you a simple one. We have this new year countdown. If you tap on it, then it tells you how many more hours left to the 1st of January. So I'll show you how it's being done. You tap on the three dots at the top, right? And then this is the configuration. So you specify date and then you will get the time between the current date and that specified date. At the end, it will show uh, what is the duration left to that specified date. So this is a very simple one. And if you like to add other actions, you can also do so. Perhaps you would like to open the app. You can just add in as well. So now we are back to this home page. And let me just show you another one, this search on feature. So you can just type anything that you want to search for. Uh, we'll just go with something simple here, Apple Watch. And then we'll tap done. And then we have a list of websites to which you can search Apple Watch in. We'll go for Reddit and then we'll tap on allow. So once that is done, we have a list of posts that is related to a Apple Watch. So once you're done, we just head back to the home screen. So, so far, what we have done is mainly interact with it in the shortcuts app. Sometimes you may want to add it to your home screen. So you just have to hold on to the shortcut and then tap on share. And then at the bottom, you will select add to home screen. And then you can select the different colors, the title of the icon. In this case, we'll go for red. And I'll just go back to the home screen. And there you have it. The icon is there ready for you to type in whatever you want to search for. In this case, let's go for iPad. And then you have a list of websites to which you can choose from. I shall not proceed over as it will be the same process. So let's head back to the shortcut app. And we'll go over some of the app shortcuts at the bottom. So these are all ready shortcuts that you can use right away. And let me just show you the clock shortcut so you can add alarm so very easily you can just select the time and then tap on add and let's just verify if that clock has been added so i have to say that this is a very simple way to add an alarm and let's go to alarms and yes the alarm has been added so now let's head back to the shortcut app and we just scroll down to see what are some of the other app shortcuts that we can try how about record in the voice memo yeah we'll add to home screen and we'll select a color we'll go for green and we'll add now let's hit back and we'll just tap on this and the recording starts immediately so you don't even have to go to the voice memo app you just have to tap on this and it automatically starts the recording process for us so i think that is a pretty good feature we'll just head back now to the shortcut app again so I want to bring you to the gallery now to see some of the readily made shortcuts. So you have different categories here, such as you know getting stuff done, quick shortcuts, and we just look at some more essentials, photography, and let's look at this morning routine category. There is this brush teeth timer. Let's add this in. 
and we also have a look at what it is so it will actually buzz our device after one and two minutes of brushing so okay let's try this out we'll head back to the home page and we'll just have a look at what it is about so at the start it will show the alert and then you'll wait for a few seconds and vibrate the device and show notification and do the pretty much the same thing so we'll just uh, tap on done and we'll activate it so we'll tap on ok and there we have it so after 60 seconds our device will buzz i shall not proceed with that i'll just stop the shortcut so heading back to the gallery there are also many other interesting shortcuts to which you can choose from I'll just go with something more unique, the word of the day shortcut. We'll add it in and then let's go back to our main page. And we'll have a look at what it is under the hood. So you will get one item from this website and then they will show the item. So let's just tap on it, allow. And there we have it. We have this uh, word of the day being generated for us. I'll just zoom in a bit. Once you are satisfied, you can just uh, tap on done to exit. And then I'll show you how you can create your own shortcuts. At the top right, tap on the plus icon. And then we have a list of uh, actions to which you can choose from. Let's just choose one to work with. I'll go for contacts. And then we will add new contact. So just tap on it. And over here, as you can see, it is uh, seamless. Very easy for you to work with. So let's head to automations. I will proceed to create a new automation. And over here, we are going to set the criteria to which that particular automation is going to run and the subsequent action is going to be taken. This is quite a long list for you to choose from, you know, be it before you commute or when you tap an NFC tag or when a particular app is being opened think in this case we can try something out we go for battery level so when the battery level equals to 50 percent we want some action to be taken so i'll select the speak text action and then over here i will type in please charge immediately so i just want to re-emphasize that you can set more than one action to be taken when that criteria is being met so i'm done and i will just uh, tap on done at the top so right now I have this automation being created already. I will just uh, have a look at it. So my criteria is being set. And at the top, we want it to run immediately. We don't want it to promise. So the criteria is being set. The action is to speak, please charge immediately. And so this marks the end of this tutorial of the shortcut set. I hope you like it and I will see you in the next one.